everybody, how are you? Welcome back to How Do You Do? Welcome back to the puppet shop. Guess what time it is? Balloon time! Yes, it is time to make another balloon. Um, today, I'm wearing one of my favorite sweatshirts. Oh, hello, Kit Kat. Can you say hello? Can you say hello to everybody? They're up there. They're up there, yes. I don't know who likes to be in this show more, me or my cat. Um, for today's balloon animal, we are going to make a hummingbird, but I'm wearing one of my favorite sweatshirts. This RW stands for Rufus Wainwright, uh, probably one of my favorite singers. Um, and I discovered Rufus Wainwright when I was in school, in college, in university, uh, at the University of Victoria in Canada, where I went to school. Shout out to all my lovely and beautiful Canadian friends out there. Um, and one of my visits to Canada recently, um, I got this book and it's called The Little Hummingbird. And it is a beautiful, beautiful book that I love very much. And it's a Native American, I, I think folk story, folk tale, they would say. This is the book. It is called The Little Hummingbird. It is beautiful. It's about many animals and it's a really good book. And if you're looking to have a sweet story to read, that gives you a good smile, this is the one. So let's make a hummingbird to go with this book that I got in Canada with my sweatshirt on that I got with one of my favorite singers from Canada. Uh, and uh, let's make a hummingbird. Let's make a red one since the book cover is red. All right, and I'm gonna fill this balloon almost all the way to the end, just leaving a tiny little bit at the end. All right, just a little bit on the end. Then we're gonna tie it. This is a very easy balloon animal to make. I'm going to make, um, it's gonna go upside down. Hummingbirds have a little, um, very sharp little, I don't know if it's sharp, but that little nose, that little thing. And that's what this is gonna be. So normally, when I start twisting, the knotted end is usually the front of the animal. But I'm gonna go backwards. So I'm gonna twist this way, which is hard because there's no tail on this end. So this only has two twists, and that's the only reason this one works. If I twisted it too many times, the area would have nowhere to go and we'd have a pop. So I'm gonna take a little tiny bubble, and I'm gonna attach it to about a large size bubble. I'm gonna twist that, and that is going to be the hummingbird's head and the hummingbird's body. And then I have this big, hello frame, nice to see you. I'm gonna turn this O shape, I'm gonna push it down and turn it into wings. Kit Kat did not like that part. And now we have a little hummingbird. Uh, I'm gonna put a little face on it. I have a face on our balloons. Maybe she don't got to. I just like to. And then I'm gonna put a little face on, a little happy face. And then we have a beautiful Huh. So, that's a hummingbird balloon, very sweet little one, to go with a very sweet little book called The Little Hummingbird. Um, if you don't know Rufus Wainwright, it's one of my favorites, and he's also doing a song a day, uh, if you follow his Instagram. Uh, and if you don't know this book, please get it. It's a beautiful book. Uh, and to all my friends in Canada, I love you very much. Uh, I hope you're having a good time. Thanks for joining me on How Do You Do? See you next time.